What's up guys, it's P-Sensei, back at it again with yet another rank 30. This time it is going to be Leon from Solo Showdown. going to be showing you some replays and tips so that we can transform you from a noob Leon into a pro Leon. Um, so let's just go over some quick stats and we'll hop right into replays. Alright, looking at Leon's stats, he's got decent health, he has very fast movement speed, uh, he has a decent damage and decent range. So overall, pretty decent in Solo Showdown. His super is also pretty good as well, which turns him invisible. His gadget provides a little clone that follows people. Um, there is some uses, but overall it's useless. You don't really need it. All right, and the star power you want to use is definitely the second star power, Invisihill. For some reason, some people think the first star power is better. No, Invisihill is definitely way better, and I highly recommend you get it. I wouldn't say it's needed, but it definitely is going to make pushing Leon a lot easier. Now, I just want to clear something before we uh, get into the replays here. So a lot of people think Leon is one of the best brawlers in Solo Shadow. That's actually not the case. Um, I know a lot of... Uh, YouTubers that don't really play Solo Showdown, like Spen or Tom, you know, they put Leon as super good in, in Showdown, along with Crow. Uh, that's actually not true. Um, Leon is B tier. You can maybe put him in the A tier, but he's definitely nowhere near um, the S tier with all the best bars like Carl and B. Um, so yeah, um, just wanted to make that clear. Um, also, as far as the star power, yeah, a lot of people think that in Invis uh, that the uh, Smoke Trails, the Speed Star Power is better. It's just not. I mean, the second star power gives Leon 1,000 healing per second, and uh, you put that into context, that is like literally the best healing per second in the game. I don't think anything even comes close to that. It's 1,000 healing per second. Uh, you can literally just walk towards crows without taking any damage. It's just so much healing. Um, you're going to be using that, um, especially when there's teaming and all the backstabbing happens. You can just hop into the poison and outheal the poison um, until obviously the poison starts racking up damage. You can use it to just literally, uh, just completely W key crows, just walk straight towards them, and even if they're shooting at you, they're not going to do any damage to you. Um, and if you're in a tight spot taking a lot of damage, you can just pop that and heal straight up. If you take someone out and they got you real low, just pop your, pop your super heal straight up. The only time I would say that the first star power would even be useful would probably be in energy drink, uh, because, uh, you can use that to help you get away from someone with energy drink and also um, just to make you super quick with the energy drink. But yeah, Invisit Hills, I mean, there's no other healing in the game that really compares to it. The second best would probably be BB's Gadget, and that's 600 health per second. This is 1,000. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, so now we got those things out of the way. Uh, we can actually uh, talk about what's going on in the replay here. So I have five power cubes. We are going after this... Uh, uh, Colette. Colette is a pretty okay matchup for Leon, I'd say. Um, so now we uh, we got low, so we popped our um, super immediately, just in case someone was there to take, take us out. Uh, we were able to uh, get some kills there, kill that Leon, and now it's just us versus the Carl. We have nine power cubes. You can just see how an Invisit Heal just completely just makes the, all the damage Carl does just absolutely null. So let's just hop into the next replay. Alright, hopping into the next replay here. Uh, spawning at the left side of the map, we got these two boxes over here. Now, uh, Leon is actually a pretty decent counter towards B, um, be just because of his, um, well, first of all, he has decent range uh, to deal with B, but also his gadget um, allows him uh, to actually tank B shots, um, and you can kind of just, uh, you know, drop your gadget and uh, follow, follow it and let the gadget take all the shots when you get in close range to the B and uh, take the B out. So we have we got the two cubes over there. Luckily, no one contested for us. Uh, this is also on Feast or Famine, by the way, with the Meteors. Uh, so we're just kind of waiting for the map to open up, waiting for an opportunity um, to do something. Otherwise, I'm just not going to, uh, you know, reveal myself. And uh, yeah, just because you never, you don't know who's around you. I mean, I know it's not the most skillful gameplay, you know, <laughs> it, not the most entertaining, but it's it's what. <laughs> Um, it just wait. It's it's just kind of. I just don't like playing risky. Like why 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 do I move around when I don't necessarily need to? And then I see an opportunity like that to take care of this primo. And now the primo came from the mid. And now I know that the mid is for sure safe. And so now I know I can go into the mid. And uh, yeah, just be the big boss there. And uh, yeah, 
just you know look for a, bro a good opportunity to take out anyone else all right so we have that bull the bull is trying to come in i don't know i don't know why leon does a lot of dps uh, not dps a lot of burst damage and uh we could definitely take out that bull especially with uh five power cubes i don't know why he decided to challenge us there but as you can see we just completely took him out so now we have another leon and uh yeah leon one of the most popular picks in solo showdowns you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of fellow leons um yeah it's definitely not uncommon to have um, multiple leons in a game at least for me in the north american server i never uh one time i had six leons in a game um which is not very common but uh it's not very common to have six brawlers uh of of one type for me at least but yeah anyways able to take that leon out and then take out the b at the top of the next few play all right so now i just kind of want to cover some common new mistakes i see from leon's uh, as I said before, Leon is one of the most highest picked brawlers in Solo Showdown, so you're going to see them a lot. And a lot of them do not play good. So I'm going to tell you why they don't play good. Uh, first of all, a lot of Leon's, uh, you know, and, and this is, I think this is just more noob behavior. It's just that a lot of noobs play Leon. I, I guess I guess that's how it works, because I see this on other brawlers too. Uh, but they just, like, ignore boxes and just go straight for people. That's not very smart. Um... The, the reason why you don't you don't, you don't want you, the reason why I always say in my showdown video is to get boxes first and then it's so that you have power cubes to work with. If you just go after someone and ignore boxes, someone's gonna come and take those boxes while you're busy focusing on that other person. And even if you kill them, you only are gonna get one power cube. Whereas if you focus on boxes and then go after them, you know you at least have something to work with. But now you only have one power cube at best, and that's if you kill them. All right, so. I, I never recommend that. And also, another mistake is uh, that Leon's tend to f that or noobs that I, I see they tend to focus on one person only. You know, you know, if you see a good matchup, go after it. But if they get away, move on to someone else. You know, a lot of Leon's will just stick to one person, and then uh, even if that person does get away, they'll just keep following them, even if it means following them into a dangerous situation, like next to a bush where like a bull or something could come out at them. Or if they're hiding behind a wall and they literally just try to camp them out. It's just not worth your time and it's just going to make the game boring and not fun for both of you, right? How is that fun? You know, just 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 doing nothing, waiting for someone to move when you could just go on go on your merry way and find someone else. Um, now, another big mistake is uh, the Leon Super, as you see, we won doing nothing, but we'll talk about that later. Alright, so uh, the final new mistake that I see new Leons do is involves Leon Super. A lot of them will super in on brawlers that Leon cannot kill, all right, such as um, Shelly or uh, uh, Frank. Only super in on brawlers that Leon for sure can kill. You know, um, a Carl without super, Carl with super can counter Leon, but Carl without super, uh, a B, right? And you can pop your gadget to tank B shots. You know, brawlers like that. You know, uh, or you know, or Max or something like that. Brawlers like that, but Leon can counter. Not brawlers like Shelly. You know, not brawlers like Frank. You know, I, I know um, my Frank push uh, will be coming soon, and you know, uh, you would be surprised how many Leons thought they could kill, they could kill me as a Frank. You can't. Um, so yeah, that's one thing to keep note of. Another thing is to actually survive. You know, a lot of times you see noob Leons just super in on someone only to die after, and it le and it's very annoying whenever that happens to you because you're like, really, bro, you're gonna super in on me and die after? Like that's such a noob thing to do. Uh, but it, you see often, if you're going to super in on someone, make sure that you can get away. Otherwise, it just makes you look like a fool. Alright, so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> uh, but we can talk more about Leon's mechanics here. Leon's shot is kind of like bow. Um, so, yeah, it's the same thing. Um, if you want to be more direct, as you see, we did it with that bull there. Uh, you go clockwise. And if you want to be more spread, you go counterclockwise. Um... Yeah, as far as countering other Leon attacks as we go in on this gene here, um, yeah, if the Leon uh, gums on you, you want to pop your gadget and the super right afterwards. Um, yeah, as you see, we uh, are able to get the rank 30 there, but yeah, so that's how you deal with it. If Leon comes at you, you use your gadget to tank damage, and then you pop your super. And your super is very useful um, if you're in ever, like I said in the beginning, if you're ever in a dicey situation. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at the battle log here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, most of the tips there. Um, yeah, and, and as, as you can see here, uh, we have a 80% win rate, 
So pretty solid push. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And peace.